Hello everybody, good afternoon. Um, it's actually getting a little bit late around here, but I have a project that I got to start working on, which is making the samples for um, the photography for the website um, with all of the new um, rollers that just came on. And uh, hi Nikki, it's great to see you here. Um, Christina also I've got a couple of my retailers on here um, so that's a great way to start um, for those of you that are looking for my products um, you know you guys can always go onto the website and there's a um, tab that says where to buy uh, just type in your um, zip code and um, anybody in your area is going to pop up so you can always see if there's a retailer close by and a lot of the retailers already have the new stuff in or it's on their way so that's totally awesome um, but I have to get the photography done and I thought maybe I just go on here and let you guys join me and um, just play with the rollers. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio. And uh, another retailer just joined. So hi, Colleen. It's nice to see you on here. Um, Colleen and Nikki were just here, oh gosh, just a little over a week ago. It seems like it hasn't been that long, but I guess it has. So um, I'm just going to kind of start from the beginning because I know there's a lot of people that haven't had a chance to kind of play with the rollers. and. I'm going to show you how to load it and everything I can do, okay? So to start with, and I'm just going to pull the camera around here and kind of turn you guys down so you can see my working table. Um, hopefully you guys can see everything here well. Um, so this is, hi Ann, good to see you. Um, this is the, uh, basically what's called the stamping roller handle. And this all comes together, okay? Um, there's a little nut here that comes apart, so when you actually get this, um, your handle is not going to be attached, okay? Uh, so the handle is off of there to start with, and all you have to do is put that right together and then just put on the nut, and hopefully this won't take me that long to do, and um, screw on your handle, okay? Um, and then your foam applicator goes in and out, and the handle has two holes on it, um, the bottom little hole and the top hole. And these, this bottom hole is for your foam roller, okay? And the top hole is for the patterned roller. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I actually, um, you, how I like to load my rollers, okay? So the first thing that I do is I found these serving trays, okay? This is kind of like at your um, food supply, restaurant supply place, um, serving trays. And then I use good old um, press and seal, and I cover the tray so I don't have to wash these all the time. Um, yes, Colleen, it was a blast. I was so glad to have you here. Um, hopefully we'll be um, putting together another retailer training um, for sometime next year and get another group here. So um, I like using the, the serving tray instead of a paint tray just because this is smooth and it's a flat surface and I think it's so much easier to um, load off of this, okay? So I'm gonna turn you guys down here for a second. Um, I'm gonna use Modern Masters. Um, this is metallic silver. It's one of my favorite colors. And I'm trying to create um, the new sample photos that will be similar to the ones that already exist. And um, so that's kind of why I picked this color. So I'm just going to pour my paint out onto the tray. And when I'm loading the sponge, I'll put it out in the far end holes, okay? So it's going to be easier to load when it's in this position versus it being clear up here, okay? Um, I like to just kind of spread out the paint so that way you can have it on the surface to begin with. And it's not a bad idea. This is just a um, spray bottle full of water. And I'm going to mist the sponge so that it'll help the paint to soak in. And depending on the paint that you're going to use, um, you might actually need to water some of the different paints down 
just because some of them are thick. Um, you guys know that one of my favorites to use is um, the DIY paints by Debbie's Design Diary. And those are a little bit thicker, so I definitely have a tendency to um, thin them down. And if you guys can hear all that noise in the background, I'm sorry. It sounds like uh, the garbage service is here picking up garbage, and they're making an awful lot of noise out in the back. So sorry about that. They should be gone soon. And then I'm sure we're also going to hear Mr. UPS coming here very soon. He, he's due to come at 3.30, so uh, when you hear my doorbell, that's UPS. Um, okay, so what I'm checking right now is I'm actually checking the foam, okay? And I'm looking to see if there's any places that it doesn't look like it's loaded really well or if there's not, not enough paint. I'm actually going to do um, a few sample boards um, with the different patterns. So I do want to load enough, okay? I'm probably overloading this, but I'd rather have it overloaded than run out of paint and have to stop and do this again. So I'm going to give this just a little bit more product and make sure that the paint is everywhere and completely in that foam. Um, once you load the foam well, and you kind of load it depending on um, how much surface area that you need to cover, you know, how big your project is and um, what you're planning on doing. Now I'm just doing some sample boards, so I don't need a ton, but that still is quite a bit of paint that will last me a while. Um, so hi, there's more people joining us. This is great. Okay, so my foam is loaded. Oh, I should turn you guys back down here. I want you to see how I actually load this. Okay, I need to um, move this foam roller into the other position. So I'm putting it in the bottom hole and always get paint on you when you do this so don't worry and let's see let's demonstrate um, this is the Bohemian Rhapsody okay so let's try this one first so you're gonna notice that the pins are longer on the um, on the pattern roller than they are the foam okay for whatever reason but when you open up this bar I hold that pin try to hold it in position between my fingers so it doesn't slide out of the way, okay? Trying to just kind of hold on to that as I open it up to get the next pin in there. Um, the other thing I would like to do is just roll it uh, so that I can start to load the pattern. Now, you can roll it like that or you can kind of off roll it. Let's get my camera back here in the right place, okay? Um, yes, definitely. Um, any of my retailers that are on here live with me, make sure that you definitely give everybody your location. And like I said, you guys can always go onto the website at artisticpaintingstudio.com and um, just put in where to buy. Um, you'll find the tab at the top and put your zip code in and then anybody will show up that's close by. Okay, so this is just a piece of packing paper here. And this is one of my favorite ways to load the pattern, okay? So if I just roll straight down, who is isn't that pretty? Um, that will load the pattern completely, so now I know I've got paint on it. You don't want to like start on your project before the pattern's loaded like that. So it's always nice to have something to um, roll onto first so that you get the entire design uh, loaded with the paint, okay? So what I'm doing here, like I said, is just a sample for um, photography. And I keep moving you guys around because I'm trying to get you at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. Um, now, some people will ask about trying to line the pattern up perfectly. I'm actually going to move this back here for a second so that I can talk about this and do another, another pass, okay? Um, I don't know exactly where I started there, okay, so I'm going to have to try to figure out where, where the pattern was, okay, I think somewhere around here. But if you're worried about it being, matching up perfectly, um, what we do is we'll take a Sharpie marker and we'll put a mark on the side and you want to just make sure that that mark is in the same position every time you start and that should get you to as perfect of alignment of the next pass as you can get. And even if it's not in alignment, 
I don't think it hurts the pattern at all. I think it's just kind of fun. That one was a little bit staggered, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, so there is a little line on the roller, which is kind of like a seam, and that's what I'm going to have um, facing me or having perfectly horizontal when I start, and we'll see how well that lines up, okay? Uh, most of the time, I just, I really don't bother too much with it because I don't think it matters, okay? I just don't think it's that, you know, that important all the time. It just depends on your personality. So I'm going to start this um, off the tape, okay? And just bringing down for one pass. And then again, I'm going to try to get the pattern at the same starting point, okay? There we go and try to start the same. And then I'm just kind of spacing so that the design doesn't overlap. And it looks like, okay, we're getting a little bit of paint on the background here, okay? So I'm just wiping off the roller itself because the paint got back onto the base section instead of just being on the highs. Okay, and again, I'm gonna put this in the same position and then do one more roll here. There we go. So that is the um, Bohemian Rhapsody. And it is available. You're just not going to find it on the website yet because that's what this is all about, okay? Is making my samples. Um, so, oh, I appreciate it. I see some people have shared my video. And you guys, that's awesome. I appreciate you guys always doing that. Okay, so Bohemian Rhapsody I'm going to put to the side, and I am going to go ahead and get one of the other patterns out. And let's see, I've got a drying rack right here. That's part of why the camera can't push any further, is that's in the way. And let's see, yeah, I thought I was prepared, but, you know, it seems like I'm always missing something when I start to do these uh, live videos, okay? And I'm just going to try to clean off my glass a little bit. Okay, I hope this doesn't make too much of a noise for you guys. Um, but this is just a razor blade that I use that keeps the glass pretty clean so that we don't pick up product from our last whatever we were doing here. <laughs> okay, so let's get another board. And I'm going to put back... Actually, I'm going to get another piece of paper so that I can um, back do a practice run. It's always nice to have a practice run and just get your pattern all loaded. And um, some of you guys, because this is my packing paper, okay? Some of you guys might find that your um, orders are actually packed with this pretty packing paper. Okay, let's see if I can move you guys around here because I'm gonna come back over here and load another pattern in. So again, you guys can uh, watch me do this. Now, taking a roller, a pattern on and off, once it already has paint on it, there's no way you're going to grab that thing without getting your hand covered in paint. So I'm just wrapping it with a paper towel so I can pull out that design. And then I'm going to put in, this one is the Moroccan, um, the R Moroccan Damask. Okay, so I've just loaded the next one. So it's that easy. Once you get used to doing it, okay, there's the doorbell, guys. I told you, if Mr. UPS was going to be here anytime. Um, so once you get used to taking the rollers in and out, it's just not that big of a deal. Okay, so I'm going to do my test run here so that I can get the pattern completely loaded. And then test another run here. Okay. That is beautiful. This is one of my favorite ones. This is one I was so excited about coming in personally. I didn't really care if anybody else liked this one. I loved it. So it was definitely one that I was very excited about. Again, you guys, um, these are great for doing so many different projects. You know, you could just even customize your wrapping paper for the holidays and have some beautiful wrapping paper, or you could do this on your tissue paper. Um, I also have another little project I found. I found some 
was it burlap I guess um, and I'm gonna try doing some stuff on that too for the holidays so I'm pretty excited about that okay I'm gonna try to see if I can get this one to line up the best I can and I'm looking for a starting point again I'm gonna put the seam at horizontal okay starting at the tape edge and come straight down okay now I am working in a metallic paint, and metallic paints you're going to find are going to be a little slicker. So even them um, letting it dry up a little bit on there is not always a bad idea, okay? Because sometimes you'll get, oops, we're definitely getting a slide, okay. Sometimes you'll get a slide, okay. And, you know, it doesn't, doesn't ruin it. <laughs> Just gives it a little bit more character here and there sometimes. And I'm just gonna spin this real good, so we'll see if we can get it to come with a full. Okay, start this one again. Here we go. Perfect. So that one is uh, the Moroccan Damask. Um, yes, I'm excited about the burlap, okay? I'm thinking holiday burlap. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'll probably come on here live and show you guys. <laughs> okay, so that one is done. And let me put this one aside. If you guys have any questions, please put them up here. And I'll be more than happy to ask. If I miss your question while we are live... Um, oops, I got stuck on the paper here. Hold on, okay? If I missed your question while we're live, I'll definitely answer it afterwards. And yes, um, I know, I think it was Anne that just said something about, you know, it's better that it's imperfect anyway. And, you know, I always try to tell all my students, just embrace the imperfections. They're going to happen in real life. Um, if we try to do this, you know, what I call perfect, you know, it's going to be so hard. Oh, good. Teresa, I'm glad. I hope you get to order. And like I said, all the new ones are here, so there's going to be more to choose from. And if Jennifer gets her little project done here, um, not only will there be more to choose from, I'll, I'll have the new ones up on, online for you. Okay, so the last one of the stamping rollers. Oh, happy accidents. Of course they're happy accidents, and love that been using that for years. I always tell my, my students to embrace the imperfections. <laughs> and mistakes are not mistakes, they're just happy accidents. Okay, so again, um, I'm holding on to the roller, okay, that's coming off with the paper towel. And that way, I can get that one out without sliming my hand. And the last one I'm going to put in here is called Flower Power. And you can see, I hope you guys can see, my fingers are just holding in the, um, the foam applicator, okay? I've kind of got it pinched in there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I've got the, the little bar pinched um, so that I don't lose the foam, okay? And that way I can guide it back into the hole. Um, so that's about the easiest way I found it. Um, all the paint I'm using, Kathy, is um, Modern Masters, and I'm just using the same color. It is the Metallic Silver by Modern Masters. Okay, and I'm just moving you guys back over here so that I can get you at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, we need another piece of paper, so let me put my roller down for a second. And like I said, it's always good to do a nice test run. Um, the other thing is I'm using a Metallic, which is more of a very slick, soft paint, okay? Uh, it's easier to get a slide with that type of paint than it is with using like a chalk paint because the chalk paints are matte and they just seem to have a little texture to them um, and I don't seem to get any kind of a slide with those. And also, your surface. Um, this here is just um, like a satin finish, okay? Which is about as shiny as I ever work on with the, uh, the rollers because if you've got a slick surface and a paint that's really slick, um, like doing a, a satin on a satin or a gloss on a gloss, 
that is where you are definitely going to get slide possibilities. So you got to watch it. You might have to rock or walk, what I call walk the roller, okay? So I'm going to load this one up and get this one started so we got the pattern there. Oh, I think this is going to be so stinking fun. And nobody has to worry about lining this one up at all, okay? <laughs> However that one lines up, that is just going to be perfect. Um, I definitely can see this going in red or green for the holidays and doing some holiday wrapping paper. Okay, so let me move my paper back over. Okay, so who's, who's ordering soon? Maybe you guys will actually get this in your packing. Okay, so I'm gonna start my sample, and like I said, this one I'm not really gonna worry about. Ooh, that is a big side view of my face. Let's see if we can get more of the sample board instead of me. So if it starts to slide on you guys, you can start to rock the roller itself and encourage it. And sometimes you just gotta do that. Like I said, I'm working in a metallic paint and this surface is definitely slicker than just packing paper. Um, I wanna see what Ann just wrote here. Oh, Ann, I'm telling you, once you load this, I can't believe how long this paint goes. Um, when I did, um, my floor, um, I loaded the, the foam one time and did the entire floor, and I want to say it was like a, a maybe a 10 by 6 or 8, probably at least 8, maybe 12 by 8 area, and it was great. I didn't have to reload at all. Um, now, if I had any more passes to do, I was starting to get to where um, I was running out of paint. So, okay, I'm gonna do this one the other way. I'm gonna go from bottom to top, because sometimes I find, oops, okay, that's sliding that way too, okay. Here we go, I'm gonna have to really rock that one. Okay, I'm just walking it up, okay? You guys are seeing how I do this. And this is great to learn by, because if you find that they're starting to slide on you guys, that's all you have to do is just walk the pattern with your fingers. Um, <laughs> yes, Ann, I would love for you to order. So you just give me a call when you have some free time. Um, but this is really great to see me do this. You guys, I didn't panic. I didn't stop, okay? I didn't pull the roller away from the wall because you're already at a point where you want to continue. So if you're having an issue, then just let your fingers help walk that pattern, okay, and continue up the wall. Um, I always tell everybody, you've got to try if you're working from bottom to top or top to bottom and figure out um, which is just working the best. Sometimes one direction is going to work better than others. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody's having a problem watching live, but um, I think everybody else is doing okay. Um, so... If you guys are having an issue hearing me or seeing me, let me know. Um, it looks like we're doing okay. Um, okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys have any questions about the new, um, new patterns, um, this is the new handle. We're very excited about it. And um, if you have any questions about this, just give me a call or write a question on here. I'm always available. And I'm going to show you another one of the new patterns and um, oh so by the way also um, as Ann said I haven't ran out of paint at all um, so what I do with these when I know I still have a lot of paint in here and I don't want to waste it is that good old press and seal I just wrap these up I'll show you one I already have so this is a roller uh, one of the foams I used the other day and um, I think it has foil adhesive on it and I just have it wrapped up in press and seal. Um, yes, Tammy, yes, these can be ordered from Canada. I have three retailers up there. And I know Colleen was on here earlier, so if she is on here, I'll have her post her stuff again for you. Um, I know she ships out of Canada, so we've got three retailers up there. Um, Colleen is in Winnipeg. Um, I have one up in Fort McMurray, and I think Judy is, oh gosh, okay, I'm, I'm failing myself here. I can't remember where Judy's from, but if you go onto the website, put where to buy, um, put in your postal code, and somebody will come up that's closest to you. 
Okay, so don't worry about if you need to, um, if you want to save this overnight because you've got another project and you don't want to waste your paint, just wrap it up in your press and seal. Um, sometimes I'll put it in a baggie, sometimes I'll stick it in the fridge. Um, it's great, okay? And, okay, so the next one, okay, where's my other roller? Okay, we have one other one I want to show you guys, and this one is called Dottie. Um, and you guys all named these, okay? I didn't name any of these rollers. I let all of my customers name them. So I'm going to, let's see, let's do another gray board. That'll work. That way you can, you can see the pattern really well. Okay, now you can probably just see the back of my head. Um, okay, let me move you guys back over here. And, okay, so again, I've got a gray wall. Oh, okay, I'm not sure who that one is. So, forgive me for a second, guys. I'm going to go check and see who just walked in. I'll be right back. Hello. Hi, hey, I'm online. So, okay, no problem, Johnny. I'll come by when I'm done. Okay, so that was my neighbor, Johnny. He has something for me, which I need it, um, but I'm going to go see him in a little bit. Okay, so because the next roller is the, um, it's called Dottie, okay, and this is one of the impression rollers, meaning you're going to make an imprint into a product. So I'm going to use my good old texture medium that you guys know I love, okay, and going to apply that to the surface and then roll through it. Now I also wanted to show you guys the newest little mini trowel. Okay, they just came in. They are so adorable. Um, they're only about, I think they're under four inches. Okay, so you can kind of see how tiny that is compared to my regular trowel. Okay, they're so adorable. Now this is not something I'm going to use on a wall, um, but if I'm working on a project and I have that little section that's between two door jams or a window and a door jam and you have a hard time getting into it, these are great, okay? So you might end up using them on a wall in those hard or those tiny little spaces that you just need to get a little product into. Um, but I really had thought about them more for uh, small drawer fronts or furniture when you just have a smaller project. So they're absolutely wonderful. Um, they just came in and um, they retail, I think, for $18.95. Uh, again, I'll get, uh, I'm, I'm at the mercy of my webmaster, too, to get these onto um, the website. Okay, somebody posted a question um, about how the new handle worked. Okay, so the new handle's really not any different than the old handle. But let me go ahead and just cover this real quick before I move on. Um, so this is the new handle. And really the only thing difference between the new handle and the old handle is the sides are straight, okay? The old handle, which is here, the sides um, were further out at the bottom and then came in at the top. And um, you had to kind of work with this. You know, you had to, we would bend these things and uh, you could bend them so that they would just get a, a little tighter. And they had more holes on the side, which I don't know why we never used any of the other holes other than the top and the very bottom. Uh, so the new handle is just a little bit what I call more user friendly. There's only two holes to deal with. The bottom one closest to the handle is going to be for the sponge applicator. And the top hole is for your pattern rollers. And um, the other thing is, and I'm going to grab one more thing. We have what's called the converter bar, okay? And the converter bar allows you to um, use the red rubber rollers with the stamping handle. So you just slide the bar into the roller, and then it gives it the pins it needs to hold it into this. So you just put these in here, okay, and now any of the rollers you own will work. So if you have a collection of red ones and you want to do a painted on surface, um, the conversion or converter bar will allow you to do that. Um, Colleen, I'm not sure exactly why, but I have felt that um, I didn't always like the other handle um, because it was just sometimes a little too far out for the sponge, okay? And it seemed like we were always pushing in the sides or 
uh, adjusting the pins on the, the foam. So this is just fits a little bit tighter and I think it's going to work much better for everything. Uh, but they changed it on me, uh, which was a good thing. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so back to this sample. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the texture medium onto the surface. And I'm using my trowel, and all I do is just load this product onto the side of the trowel. Okay, so you can see me doing that. And then trowel on just a nice thin amount of material. It doesn't have to be a lot at all, okay? Um, now, you can always load more, you can go thicker, but you don't have to. I try to teach everybody that, you know, thin wins pretty much with this product, um, that you don't need a ton of it to make that impression, because that's all you're doing is creating an imprint into the product, and it just doesn't take a lot uh, of material to see the, the print. Uh, so I try to help save you guys some money in the long run here that um, if you can get away with a thinner uh, amount of material, then that's just going to save you money, okay? Um, now, doesn't mean that you have to do it thin. Um, you definitely can apply the product thicker and you'll get a little bit more dimension, but you also have to come back and normally sand down your highs. So Sometimes it causes you more work the thicker it is. Okay, so I just want you guys to see. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you really can't see that too well on there, okay? But I've got, a, uh, got an imperfection in this board, so I'm going to scratch that off. Uh, this is just causing a, a high mark there, okay? So all I'm doing is just putting on a layer, keeping it thin, and then we're just going to take the dotty roller, okay, and roll it straight down. And what we have discovered is that the combination of dotty, which is this new one, and the older roller called Little Dots creates a wonderful looking ostrich skin, just like ostrich boots, okay, leather boots. Um, so this is really coming out pretty cool. Um, and that's it, okay? That's how simple it really is. And it's just a matter of washing off your roller, okay? Um, but that was pretty much what I had come on here to share with you guys because now all my samples are done and all I have to do is um, do the photography. I could, like I let them dry and then I could do the photography so that we can get all this stuff online. Um, oh, the Pink Daisy's on here too. Okay, I got a lot of retailers that are showing up on this. This is awesome. You guys all, please feel free to list your location and tell everybody where you're from. Um, that way they can find you guys easily. Um, the other things I wanted to also mention, and I know I've mentioned it before, but we have an exciting um, expo coming up. And um, that is for the General Finishes um, Expo in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it is September 5th through 7th. I'll be there teaching, um, so I hope that if you guys are close by that you'll have a chance to make it. Um, oh, what did I just trowel onto the board? Um, Melissa, that was my product. I'll pull it back up here, um, called Texture Medium, okay? It's my own brand, Artsyville. It's wonderful to work with, and it's got great open time and just is really easy to trowel on. Um, so make sure you guys go online, go on to thegeneralfinishes.com. You'll see the big banner they have for the expo. Um, I think it's a great deal. It's like $229 for the convention, which includes that you get to pick nine different workshops that you attend, and uh, I think it includes like the welcome reception it includes a dinner on the second night. Um, I'm not sure. I think it actually might even include um, lunch one day. I don't know. They're, they're, they always do it really well there at General Finishes. So make sure to check that out. And then for anybody that's around Dallas, okay, Arlington area, the Penners Conference is coming at the end of September. I think it's 29th and 30th. Uh, don't quote me, those dates might not be perfect, but it's the very last weekend in September. It's a Friday, Saturday, 
and um, gosh just go online and check it out you guys will be amazed it looks like it's going to be a super fun event and I'll be teaching there again um, I'm going to be teaching the stamping rollers and um, all the students that come to my class if they buy the kit they're actually going to get one of the rollers um, for a really good price so it's a heck of a deal um, the other conference I'll be at right after that one is I'm going to be at the Penners in Scottsdale, Arizona. And wow, I just booked my hotel for that one. That was October uh, 6th and 7th, okay? Those dates I know because I just booked my hotel room. Uh, so I'm able to remember that one. Uh, so if you get a chance, uh, I'll help you see me at that one. Again, I'm going to be teaching there too. Um, so a couple of fun events. They're new for me. I've never been to Penner's before and I'm just really excited. I've actually had a couple of my retailers go um, that was in Atlanta and they said it was absolutely awesome. Um, oh, am I going to be back in Dallas in January? I don't know, Christina, if I'm going to be going back to Dallas in January. I'm going to be there September, okay? Um, so I'll have to, I have to think about that one. Um, I was at Market in Dallas last January. Um, great event. It was really exciting and fun to be there. But I'm not sure I'm going to be back. Um, we haven't, the committee is out on that one, okay? We haven't decided yet. But I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me for a little while. It's always fun to have you here. Oh, you guys are just warm in my heart with all these hearts that are going across my screen. You guys are so sweet. Um, if you would, take time to share my video. That way um, more people can find out about the rollers and discover what great fun this is. Um, and again, you guys, if you have any questions, post them here. I'll go in and read them and uh, answer you guys if I missed anything. Thank you guys for joining me. It's always fun to be here with you guys. And okay, now I gotta let everything dry. I gotta take some pictures because um, I gotta get this stuff on the website. Uh, if you want to order these, any of these new rollers before they show up on the website, you know you can always call the studio. They are in stock. So we'll talk to you guys later. You have a fabulous Tuesday evening. Thanks for joining me.